welcome to my channel. I'm a budget mama based in the UK and I am trying to focus on a cash budget system which allows me to kind of combat the pinch that we've been feeling lately with all the costs going up. Uh, so today I'm going to be uh, stuffing my part-time income which is paid weekly so that's what we're going to be doing today. So there's £140 here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40. So one, 140 pounds, and that's mainly going to go into savings and sinking funds. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that we have a full-time income as well, uh, and that's what most of our kind of day-to-day -day spending comes out of. Um, so this is getting a bit full now because I've got all of my um, wallets in here now and desperately need to get a separate one for like the savings and the stuff that I don't want to carry around with me all the time because it makes me a bit nervous sometimes carrying all this cash. Um, so the petrol's gone into the car, food we've still got a little bit left of. I've, done, I've actually done a full food shop for the first time in about a month. Um, so that was nice actually getting planning and feeling more in control of the budget because I've planned meals for the week so I'm not worried about like buying convenience food that's more expensive and not so good for the budget or my waistline to be fair um so petrol's gone in the car we've still got some sinking funds for clothes and shoes self-care uh, miscellaneous stuff like cleaning products uh, money for the cat if you've seen previous videos these two uh, wallets have four little envelopes in them uh, that all come out of my uh, daughter's child benefit, so that goes into there. So this is where we're starting um, with the part-time income. So we put £20 a week into fun money, um, and this is, uh, this is mainly because we were on a one income for a very long time, um, so we didn't have a lot of fun money. So having a little bit of cash to, you know, do a... A day trip or a date night or something is it's I it just it just makes me feel like working is worth it I know we're obviously saving for other things um, but um, just knowing that we can get a takeout pizza or something makes me feel you know those nights where you come home from work and you're just like yeah I don't want to cook uh, we put £10 a week into a gift fund and over the course of the year that's going to total up to £520 which should hopefully cover birthdays through the year, Mother's Day, Father's Day, things like that, as well as Christmas because I'm pretty thrifty. Um, we're going to come back to savings, see, see how much we've got left over. Um, no, actually, I'm going to put 20 in there. So I'm going to put 20 into my savings. So this is just going towards, like, anything, really. Anything that we, like, haven't thought of. Uh, so it might be, I don't know, it might be a new microwave or a kettle or a hairdryer or something like that. And then we put 20 into the boat fund. Um, we do have a boat. Um, it's that we're not really able to use it because it needs uh, quite a bit of work done into it. Um, so this is just going to help us get work done on the boat. And it's going to let's get out on the water, which means that in the long run we will save money because we won't be doing like weekends away. We can just go out on the boat, which is um, pretty pretty cheap to do. So... That's all that's going into here. So we've got fun money, gifts, 20 quid to saving, 20 quid to the boat. And then the other thing we're doing is saving for a holiday. Uh, we are going away in September. Um, so we need 500 for that. So I've got my little, my little envelopes in here. There are 10. I need to put 50 pounds in each and we filled three. So we're going to fill one more. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, yes, 50. So that's going to go into one of these pockets. So we've got 200. So we are on our way, definitely. I 
you know, I got the, uh, <laughs> I made these little pockets thinking they'll be, make things easier and I feel like they just, I fumble with them every time. Uh, so, yes, we've got 200 towards the holiday. I've got six weeks left because I'm doing 50 a week out of the part-time income. So I've got six weeks left until we're paid up for the holiday, which will be maybe a month before we actually, no, I think it's about two months before we actually go. So even if we have a week where we're struggling and we're not really able to put money into this, we'll still be able to get there. Um, and then I feel like this is going really quickly. <laughs> Um, maybe I've just not talked as much as I have done previously. So that's the holiday fun sorted. And then the last thing I do is my little uh, weekly savings challenge. Um, if you look on YouTube, you'll see loads of people doing this. Um, and it's you put a specific amount into an envelope um, every week. And by the end of it, I mean, some people do like, they'll do like round 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 dollars, whatever, per week. But I've just done the week number. So by the end of the year, uh, which will not be New Year because I didn't start until like May, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll have £1,378 by the end of the year, which will be amazing. And, you know, we could probably fund next year's holidays with it. So we've got, we've only got £20 left. I didn't do as much overtime. I only do like 12 hours a week. So I've done a little bit of overtime the last few weeks. So I've had a little bit more cash to put in here. Um, but I mean, 20 quid is better than nothing. And ultimately, even if you can save less than that, if it's a pound, two pound, five pound, whatever, do what you can and do what works for you. So we're going to colour in the 20. If it had been less than 20 quid, I probably would have combined it with the 22 and put it into a bigger number envelope. You know what I mean? Um, so where are we? Um, but yeah, I think ultimately when it comes to like saving and stuff, it's all about what works for you. And, you know, what works for me might not work for you um everybody's got a different budget everybody's got different priorities everybody has different you know you might be on your own you might have a family of six who knows so it's all about just just finding that thing that kind of motivates you to succeed or achieve whatever you're trying to achieve so yeah it's, it's, it's all about what works for you um if it's something visual like this, fantastic. If it's if you don't want to do something that's going to take you all year to achieve, then, you know, do like a 12 week channel challenge or something and set yourself a goal to put £10 a week away for 12 weeks. And then you can put that 120 quid. You can either buy something that you're looking for or you can put it into a savings account or something and then do it again and make it in like break it down into more bite size manageable pieces if you're not the kind of person that can follow something for a whole year you know but I mean this is partly why I'm doing the YouTube thing because I feel like it's it's just going to make me more more accountable and if I'm doing the videos then I feel like you know I feel like anybody watching this is gonna pull me up if I just kind of blow the budget and give up <laughs> you know um anyway so it was it was a pretty quick one I think my last couple have been like 20 minutes this has only been 10 but I'm in a little bit of a rush because I've got my parents coming down um and I'm kind of squeezing this into you know nap time while my daughter's sleeping um so if this has been at all useful interesting do give me a thumbs up um if you're gonna if you're at the start of your journey you know feel free to to message and 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 uh or comment and i'm happy to kind of talk about what we're doing what works for us um and ideas that might work for you if you've been doing this for significantly longer than i have then please comment and tell me what's worked for you because I 
I mean, I, I go online and I, I research ideas, but I don't necessarily see everything. So, you know, the internet has God knows how many billions of eyes. Um, so any sort of help is, or ideas are appreciated. And if it's anything to do with my YouTube skills, by all means comment, because I am very new to YouTube. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if my videos are not don't look how they should or if there's anything I could do to improve them then you know let me know constructive criticism criticism is preferred but any ideas any suggestions are appreciated um so thank you so much for watching um hopefully I'll see you next time and happy budgeting